going on dudes it's the chief or the toast Sander here and i am back once again for another episode episode number two on my prison server for the series of course if you are new around here subscribe for some banger lit content coming in every single week and of course of course smash the like button with your forehead just obliterate it and of course if you are new Hit the notification bell, subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the banger lit content on the channel. But without further ado, let's get right into the second episode here. We're going to be doing a lot of grinding because we are kind of down in the dumps because a lot of people are OP on the server now. So we got to do a lot of oh, we got to do a lot of grinding on the server, and that is what are we are going to do today. And also, also people, thank you so much for all the love and support on the last on the first prison episode that just killed it you guys are loving it and of course i am back for more and of course also if you are new and if you want to join yourself on my prison server my gamer tag is down in the description below and of course as well if you guys do want to know when the map is actually being hosted and up join the community I actually haven't really t like told any people about my communities at all. I, as you guys do know, I I have one community, the Dark Nexus servers. Basically, that's where I post you know updates on if I have a new mini game or stuff like that. Right? It, it's just a community for all my mini game servers. But now I have a second community for the prison, so you guys know when it I, when it is actually up. I'll have it down in the description below if you do want to join it. I'm gonna stop my rambling. Let's get right into it. We are gonna go right into our cell and we are going to go right ahead and get ourselves some iron armor on and we are going to go grind because that is what we need to do. Uh, do I have? Okay, I have nothing. We need to go check our ender chest, see what we got in here. We have some iron. That's something. Okay, all right. So what we want to do today is we actually want to grind for a lot of iron. Oh, uh, I just locked myself. <laughs> I just locked myself in. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to make ourselves more levers. I thought I had levers. What happened to all my levers? They just they just disappeared. Okay, we'll make that and we do need oh we got we got some coal in there. We do need a pickaxe and we have enough for a pickaxe and a sword, but I don't exactly have wood, so we're gonna go do that. Get ourselves some sticks. Make ourselves a sword so we can at least defend ourselves at if somebody comes towards us. So uh, we're going to place that down. Break this lever and store those levers in there. Especially with that iron. And break that while grabbing it. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Place that. Break it. And we are good. Okay, so we can go to the iron mines down here. I think that's what we're going to be doing first. Because I don't feel like getting killed. This is my only art. Like, this is my only iron set. Like, after this, it's ripperoni for me. Like, in my ender chest, I don't really have anything. Except, I, I got some cash. And I got some cobble. Some stone. Uh, we can sell that later. We will sell that later. Is there anyone at the iron mine now? I don't think there is. No, there is not. Beautiful, beautiful sets. We are doing okay. And, of course, with these mines as well, like... I'm probably gonna make it where I cut the recordings when I grind. Sometimes, like, I just wanna, I just wanna grind. I will be talking for this. Like, if I'm gonna be doing an episode where I have to grind, like, a lot, and I have to be here for at least 20 minutes tops, I'm not gonna be here, like, in front of this mining for 20 minutes. Of course, you guys don't wanna see that. It, it's not exciting. It's not exciting at all. So, when, what, I'll probably have that in the future where you go in, or when you guys are watching the video, uh, you guys will see that, of course, I will cut the clip. I'm just here, just mining just a tad bit for some iron and see, hopefully, we can get some good loot because we literally have nothing right now. And apparently, well, of course, like for me, you guys know that I've been building a lot and I've been updating a lot of things on the prison. I've been doing a lot of stuff. And also, too, with the actual updates with the prison, the PvP area, the Shadow Realm PvP area, the second section, or basically the right side of the map, is basically detailed slash done. I haven't added in the supply drops to that section yet. I should have, but it is basically done. It's like halfway done, and that's when I can start to detail the the end realm and then shortly after when i get everything all hooked up like that i'll have the cinematic and hopefully start on more sections and we got eight iron five 
light fragments, eight void dust, some tokens, and some coal. All right. Okay, okay. We are rolling with this. Eight iron, but we do need more, though. We do need a little more, so we are going to stay in here just a tad bit longer. Ghost Hunter, don't even think about it. I'm right here. I am right here. I don't want to open it either. I kind of want at least 20. 20 iron is what we're going for here. We can also go to the PvP section, which is something I do want to do in this episode, uh, to go get some loot, because that place is filled to the brim. If I, of course, right now the generators are actually on, but if I leave the generators on for a long time, a lot of items will spawn. So for example, the timers that I have for all of the supply drops are two minutes for one drop. So if you think about it, if you're go if you're, if you're waiting a long time, you're going to get a lot of stuff. So like I've, when I was building, when I was building the actual PVP area, the, like the little extension to it. Um, like, I had it on, and then when I checked, there was loads of items because no one was there. So, I'm going to be having a system for the PvP area, or the Shadow Realm, I should say, where I'll have it on for 10 minutes, so basically 5 drops, and then after that, it'll be a cooldown where I turn off the machine for 5 minutes, and then when people start to go in, that's when I can basically turn the machines back on. But right now, I'm recording, so you guys, like, this is the perfect time for anyone that's out there, for people that are playing. This, of course, this is pro tip for you guys. Whenever, like, whenever I'm recording an episode for the prison, this is the best time for you dudes to go to the PvP area. Because that, that's where all the goodies at. And that's where it doesn't despawn until I, uh, until I stop recording and then I turn it off. <laughs> Alright. We are two pieces away from our iron. I kind of don't want to sit here. Okay, two pieces there. And we are going to get out of here. We are going to... We need to sell our cobblestone. Also, too, I added a new feature. And, of course, with you guys as well. If you guys want to see some... If you guys have any suggestions. Or if you would love to see something in the prison. Of course, message me. Or comment down below in the comment section about your thoughts and what you should what you think should be added into the actual prison um some things may have already been added or some things may have already been thought about uh we are going to smelt 10 in each and we are going to sell our cobblestone actually we can actually store yeah we actually have a lot of cobblestone here um i'm gonna have to sell this off camera because we need to do a lot of grinding for now. So we're going to sell all this stuff here off camera. And we are just going to keep rolling with it. Hopefully we do not die. Wait a minute. Why am I doing that when I could just break down my own door and place it back? That That's all I can do. Okay. Let's go. Let's keep going on here. I kind of want to go over to the PvP section right now. And... We do need enchanted gear. Everyone in the server right now, and of course you guys, if you guys are watching and a part of the series, you guys probably already have decked out with gear. And I am literally sitting here with just, just iron, just iron armor. No, no enchantments whatsoever. So we do need to get ourselves some goodyish goodies. I have no food. Uh, we do need to get some goodyish goodies though. Uh, so we're gonna get 14 food right there. And we can act, oh, we got lever on us. Okay, Oh. Which one just launched? Oh. <laughs> okay. Also, to I've added, um, of course, with the actual, um, with the actual, like, supply drop beacons for the newcomers around here. And, of course, if you guys don't know as well, if you are new around here, of course, if you do want to play Gamertag down in the description below for you guys to join my prison server. But, of course, pro tip, green beacons mark supply drops around the map. So you have four on each of the PvP-enabled spawn area areas over there. And then you have the PvP, which is just loaded with them and going to be putting more, of course. Uh, I have a feeling that a lot of people are already in the PvP section, and I don't know why there's torches here, but there just are, so I'm just gonna take these. Um, okay, what do we got here? What do we got? Do we have anybody? I have a feeling that people are here. Okay, so as I was saying though, the the PvP area that I extended on, on like where like where I built was this area over there. So I kinda wanna show you guys, but at the same time you got like oh okay, see see which also too I added the the cobwebs in here as well. So you you can go in 
and basically you have a time but of course uh you you can like jump through here i'm probably gonna take this out because players are complaining about that and that's something that people will complain about so that's something i gotta remove probably in the future and uh, yeah but in terms of the pvp area i'm finishing up over there after i finish up over there i'm gonna detail both that and definitely the end fortress because the end fortress it looks beautiful but i need a lot of detail on it dark hunter he he said to me that he has a sharp four fire two sword that's what he has on him i kind of don't want to interfere with that that's that's scary but at the same time i need loot badly um oh look at that pink and blue who's pink and blue pink blue pink and blue okay so sid boom and both of those guys were there. See, these these guys have enchanted swords. Okay, you know what? I'm not. I'm actually not going into the PvP area. I'm actually going to go to the supply drops in the spawn area, so I can at, so I can see if I can at least get some XP bottles or something. These guys are just ruthless, taking up the whole entire PvP area, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I need loot, and we can actually just hopefully we don't get killed in this area. Oh, uh, come on, let's go. You only have limited time. Okay, we got a piece of lapis. That's good. Lapis is good. All right, we can keep on going. Let's run around. Hopefully, we can get... I think we can get all two, all four of them if they aren't taken. Oh, an XP bottle. Three iron. That is looking pretty spicy. Looking pretty nice. I'm going to throw that now. So, seven, seven enchants. I at least want to enchant my sword and maybe my armor. Also, too, we can buy... We can buy enchantment bottles in the actual shop as well so we are probably going to be doing that and it looks like people are actually getting killed inside of the pvp area which is pretty pretty scurred that's that's pretty pretty bad so we got five iron two cobblestone and two lapis that is that is a win-win for me that is a win-win for me I, I better get out here before i get killed also to the new thing i've added for newcomers is the little bottom section here it's always been here where you can come down here see what you like see how the shops work and how you sell your items but now you have your token info basically telling you what tokens are for telling you what light fragments are for as you can see a whole bunch of signs of course you got token block information void dust info light fragment timeless tokens etc etc there's more going to be coming soon in the future i'm probably gonna have to break down the wall when i have to, when i have a bunch of currencies come out in future updates but if you guys do want to check out this area i recommend it to you if you haven't already so i don't have to explain it and of course over here is just how the shops work but of course you guys already know how the shops work because you guys you guys have been tuning into the videos and of course leaving, po leaving positive vibes everywhere over the channel and we need okay hold up we are going to get we are going to bring our void dust uh we are going to bring our tokens and our token block no i don't i don't think we can buy okay we let's go over to the to the enchanting hall wait what what's over in this chest it's just oh okay okay i i thought it was just a random chest there full of my items because as you guys do know i have a lot of like for example these these bedrock things here they're they're chests and they're like chests with like my items in them so that's why they're like covered up with bedrock if you see anything just ordinary out of ordinary just blocked up with the uh, bedrock even in like in the middle of nowhere like that's why that's why like some people are like why is this here so uh that clears up some of uh, confusion i guess so you can pay with tokens here and then you have void dust over there so i guess what would be better what would be better should i should i make it where okay you can pay five void dust why why is there an anvil here uh there shouldn't be I'll, I'll go I'll go throw this out in the garbage later you can buy five void dust for one XP bottle but at the same time okay I I think the best solution to this is me going to the token shop me converting my tokens into void dust and then putting that void dust into the machine while we get our nice and spicy XP bottles also too we got lapis that we can buy for two hundred dollars and of course get them from the supply drops of void dust shop uh Five tokens. Yeah, that's that that is definitely a win-win right there. Alright, there we go. Did someone just open the door? Who's here with me? Okay, I swear I heard somebody. Okay, maybe I maybe I I think I just I'm I think I'm just hearing things. 
Okay, well, while this is actually converting, um, I want to talk to you guys about the kit. So you guys have been saying to me how if the kit, the, uh, the kit information is out, what the kits are going to be, and if there's going to be any donator type thing to the actual prison itself. So, of course, I am going to be trying to get out the kit info as fast as possible because I know... The, I, I want the kits to actually mean something. I don't want them to just be like, oh, it, that's just the thing that, that you can get. No, I want players to actually have an intent to actually go for the, um, for the actual... Uh, for it so i will be having that in the future and in regardings to donator and uh donator rank and youtuber kits youtuber kit and donator kit um i i'm gonna have that in the future and youtube i'm probably gonna have to make it where it, you have to have like maybe 500 subs or over or maybe like 100 i don't know it's all gonna be worked out it later on in the future and then for donator kit i honestly don't know as you guys do know i'm only doing this for you guys i'm not really in it for the money but of course people have offered to donate to me so thank you so much it really means a lot to me so i might have something in the future and that that's all i really have to say to you guys in terms of the kits for now um, the crate keys, of course, I still need to configure configure the shops. I have everything done, basically, um, but I need to put in the actual, uh, like, redstone and for you to buy the kits. You can start earning obsidian fragments and black pearls, like, right now, but in terms of, like, buying the crate keys, you can't really do that now. So, you're gonna have to wait until I add that because there's a lot of stuff I need to add in the prison. A lot of stuff. Let's get ourselves some XP bottles. XP shop. Don't mind if I do. Five for one void dust. I'll take that. And we are going to... Okay, what? The thing we need to enchant first is our iron sword. That's what we need to do. And people right now, they're fully decked out. They have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of money. And I'm very, very scared out here. Because I don't like that. Okay, we need to... Okay, well, we just got three XP bottles. It shows you how much... How much all of this is. It shows you how much you have... Like, how much you have to grind for this. So, I'm going to put in half of my... 64. And then plus one, I guess. And I'm going to save that for later. Because I kind of don't want to waste it all. We could enchant... We could enchant our armor as well, but, like, the, the thing right now, I kind of want to focus on the sword, because the sword is really what matters the most. So we got 10 enchantments right now. We can also get XP from the... We can also get XP from the pigs, or from the cafeteria, so... Oh, uh, man, this this is... I don't know I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Okay, let's let's go back to the... Let's go back to the PvP area and see what's up. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. Here, let's see what we can enchant on our iron sword right now. Maybe we can get a decent enchant. Hopefully we can get a decent enchant. So low level enchanting. Sharpness one for that. Okay, that's like level that's level five. And then mid-range. Oh, that's that's 16. What do we got for 16? Bane of Arthropods. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we could we could go for the. I think we can go for the sharpness one, but we're wasting three. You know what? No, screw it. Screw it. Sharpness one. Sharpness one. That's basically a diamond sword. All right. Okay. We're we're gonna do that. Uh, we have eight enchantments left with. One lapis left. So we do need to get lapis. Like, we're, we're going to need more lapis in the future. And we need to basically grind and basically sell our items. While we're actually here, I can actually sell my cobblestone and my stone real quick in the shop. So let's go ahead and do that right now. In the shop where we sell our cobblestone. And the supply drops are actually dropping. So after we do this, we can actually go in and go... S go. Oh, there we go. And we can actually... Um, we can go get our stuff. So that is basically what the... the, the, the this, is, this, is, this is what it is right now. What I kind of want to do... I really want to go to the PvP area. Like, I know that in... 
the first episode, I know that you guys only got to see a little bit of the area and you guys only got to see a little bit of the experience. I want you guys to see more of that. But at the same time, I need to grind. Uh, I, I may as well just place this down and <laughs> mine it for one more piece of cobblestone. So we are going to get like that. We need to convert our fives after. I, I don't think anybody's here. Oh no, that, that dude's coming. I think he is. I kind of want to sell my stone as fast as possible. You know, we're going to do it. Okay, well, while those two are converting, I can grab this and get in here real quick. All right, there we go. Okay, now I don't have to really wait. We're going to convert our fives real quick, and then we are going to store our money and see if we can go back to the PvP. If not, we can go to the PvP mines. Because PvP mines, you guys do know, high risk, high reward, get better items than in Cell Block 1. In Cell Block 1, it, the iron mine's good, but the PvP mines are better. Uh, let's keep on going. So, we can actually get ourselves a $50 bet. Let's actually see what I actually have, because so I don't create confusion myself. Uh, let's see. So, I have $100 bills and $10 bills. Uh, okay, we're, we're going to keep our 10s and 100 there, and I am going to go to the... Oh, that just launched, did it? I think it just did. Okay, we're going to gun it. We are going to see if we can get some decent loot. Something out here, come on. Okay, one piece of iron. Okay, that's something. We also do have our iron back order thing, because iron right now, iron is pretty... Pretty easy to get, honestly. People say that it's pretty hard, but it's pretty easy, honestly, because you have the supply drops, you have the iron mine, and you have the PvP mine as well with this, uh, with the um, the supply drops in the PvP area. So there's literally everywhere you can go to get these things. Holy crap! Three iron ingots from one. What what just launched? Was that a supply drop or is that? Oh, that was. Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back for one. One more. And light fragment. I'll take that. Light fragment's not bad. Not bad, not shabby. I'll take it. And we're going to go for one more here. Why is there just a random torch out in the middle of nowhere? I don't get it. Four pieces of iron. Four pi Oh, no. Who's yellow? Okay. I don't think he's going to mess with me. Okay, good. He's not. I, have, I do have a full iron. And he's, he just has leather, so... All right, nine pieces of iron. We could store that in there and throw this anvil in the chest because I just had it. Um, X Toxic Cloud. I do know this person. I'm going to give him his privileges. There. Uh, he, he's been on here before. I have the party limit actually set down low. So I'm actually going to go ahead and actually set it up. All right, I basically set the party limit up by one. I usually, in terms of like PVP, or, oh no, who's this? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't like you. No, who's that? Who is that? No, I don't like that. I should honestly change my skin and just crouch the whole time. Then they won't think it's me. Like, every time when someone looks at my skin, then they know. Uh-oh. Okay, I think this is, the best t this is the best chance to go into the PvP area. Okay, we are going up to the... That area. We're going there right now. Okay, we're going to grab everything out of here. Six realm tokens. I'll take it. Come on, park. Oh, no! No! Why did you hit me? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, we just got killed. Okay, we are actually going to store this up so we don't actually lose it. We're going to store it in. There we go. Okay, so Archie Archie has a pretty good sword. He actually took away some of my hearts from just hitting me once. So if I if I go in, I, I, I got to fear that dude. I got to fear that dude. I, I don't want to get killed by him. And we got one Lapis from that and some Realm tokens. Of course, 
I still need to add in the mystical shop for your realm tokens. You will be able to convert your realm tokens into a bunch of stuff like light fragments, void dust tokens, all your typical stuff um, that will be in the future. We can also jump out here. Oh, come on. Really? You're going to bully me like this? You're going to bully me like this? Everyone wants to kill me out here. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, man. Okay, these guys are going to be bullies. These guys don't want me to leave. Oh, these guys don't... <sighs> okay, we're going to... Hmm. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I kind of don't want to go out there. Oh, that dude's going out. That dude's going out. That dude's going out. That dude's going out. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to cut him off. We need his armor. No! Oh, we're going to die here. Oh, he's low though. Oh, we killed him. Okay, we got to grab his gear and run. Yo, he had full protection gear. He had full protection. Okay, we got to get out of here. We got to get out here right now. Also, too, someone joined the party. Yeah. That's oh me. man, why do you have to join the party when I'm recording? Alright, I'm back. I just had to kick that one guy out. Oh my goodness, we are back. We are back. And we have full protection gear now. This is nice. Oh, he had a regular helmet. He had all protection gear except his helmet. This is going very well. He just took a major rip. And I got his gear. We can enchant his stuff later. And we are going to keep our iron, our sharpness one iron sword in there. And we're just going to use his smite sword so we don't lose it. Also, too, he, we broke some flowers. We can actually just, I'm going to place one here. And can I, can I, I wonder if I, I'll, I'll place one right, oh, there's, there's the flowers everywhere, right there. And we do have a fishing rod that we can actually lure them in with. Okay, now it's our first kill in the PvP area, in terms of this episode. I, I, I forget if I killed anybody in the, in the last episode. So, I, we need to go over to this area to get ourselves some goodies. So, let's go over there right now. I have a feeling that they haven't been touched at all. So, let's go and see if they have been. Okay, Void Dust and a Realm Token. Uh, hopefully, our parkour skills are somewhat good. Get up, get up, I see you. Who's orange? Dark, no! Oh no, this dude's OP. This dude here is OP. This guy has a sharp force sword. Oh no, don't. Yes, go after someone else. Okay, I gotta go, I got a gun for this one. Before he comes back. Oh, oh, there's so much stuff in there. Okay, we got stone, got some void dust, and some realm tokens. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get up to high ground. Gotta get up to high ground. And we need to get up to the one up there. I forget how to do that, though. Um, I'll, I'll have, like, more staircases later on in the future. But as of now, you just have to, like, parkour your way up here. And that is what I just did there. Oh, that pl that this chest was just loaded. Okay. Is he is he coming up? Uh, hope hopefully that dude isn't coming up here. Hopefully he isn't coming up here. As you can see, though, this place is looking phenomenal already. I'm still adding in a bunch of stuff. This here is going to be something. Uh, it's probably going to be an end portal there or probably even a tower. Uh, there, there's still a lot. Still a lot for me to add. Um, as you can see, I still need to add a lot. Of course, there's a lot of areas that are unfinished. So I need to do that. And we need to... Okay, we need to get out of here now. Because we got basically everything we need... Well, not everything. We we have one. We have 14 realm tokens and one lapis. The lapis right now is really what matters. Uh, who's green? 21's green. Uh, okay, we can jump down and grab the gear down there. Okay, we're doing it now. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, grab the stuff and run. Go, go, go. Oh, we got three lapis now. Okay, we got to get the hell out of here. Oh, we got we got to store this lapis like right now. I should probably eat as well. Oh no, there he, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh no 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 no. No, I got to get out of here right now. This is very bad. 
Screw that one supply drop. I gotta run. I gotta run. There we go. Okay, we're safe. We're done. We're good. Whew. Okay. There we go. Finally. Okay, we got 46 rum tokens now. Five lapis. And someone's actually stuck, apparently. Uh, so I just ha I just teleported them there. Every everybody's here, too. Everybody's here. They're waiting for me to go back out there. But I don't want to do that. Uh, 46 rum... I'm gonna have to make uh, the realm token shop soon. I'm probably gonna have to do that after this episode. But after this episode, I, 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 I gotta go to work. So that, that sucks. Okay, these guys are waiting to go out here. I don't know where Dark Hunter's at. You just broke my flower! Why'd you break my flower? Why? That was my flower. Why'd you break it? That was my flower, dude. My flower. And you just broke it. I don't like you. Why did you break my flower? Okay. Okay. In spawn. What do you want from me? Well, no! Go that way! Sir! Spawn is that way! Oh my god! Please! Please! Okay, we need to- Are they gonna follow me? Uh-oh. One person is. Who is that? Dark Hunter, is it? Yup, it's Dark Hunter. It's definitely Dark Hunter. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, no, everyone's here. Everyone wants to kill me. I'm not. I'm not giving up this loot. I'm. I, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no. Mm -mm, no. I'm going to the supply drops out of spawn area, and then after that, when everyone's distracted, then I'll go back. Okay. Uh oh. I think he's coming after me. Oh, there's a light fragment there. I didn't grab. Uh oh. Nope, 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 I found you. I see you. You ain't getting this. You ain't getting this. Piece of iron in my pocket. Stored in my inner chest. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, we can... It's a risk. But we're gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. Wait a minute. When he comes back, we're actually gonna try to fight him. No! He has a flame sword! I knew it! I knew it! Okay, nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He has a flame sword. Nope. Mm -mm. He has a flame sword. Nope. 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 I'm not- I'm not testing you. I'm not testing you. He has a- How do these dudes get flame swords? Do they need like level 30 enchantments? Like that's crazy! Like that's crazy. They have flame swords. Like oh my goodness. The prison hasn't even been- I think the prison's been up like for like a week. Dang. In terms of the kits, that's what the enchantments for some of the kits are going to be, so... That's going to be pretty scary. Uh-oh. I hope that- I hope the dude that's following me right now doesn't tell everyone else I'm in PvP. Because we really need gear, and we need it badly. Okay, we are going to... Alright, we're going to go out here. Who is this dude? Who is b Boom! Get away from me! Get away from me, man. I don't want you. I don't like you. Uh, he wants to kill me very badly. Okay, we're gonna rush out. Grab the items in here. And we're gonna rush out. Nope. <laughs> I see you going in there. I see you going in there. I'm not falling for your tricks. I ain't falling for your tricks, buddy. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. You, if you gotta kill me, you gotta kill me fair and square. I ain't, I ain't doing that. Okay. These guys are pretty ruthless, and I have a feeling that that one of the dudes out there- Oh, they're out there, actually, right now. Wait, who is red, anyways? Archie. Nope. No, okay, no, I know what's gonna happen. If I would've fought Archie, boom, would've came in for the cleanup kill. I'm not doing that. You know what? Everyone's here. Everyone wants to just stand outside the walls. I'm not going in. I'm going to the PvP mines, get some resources, because PvP mines, high risk, high reward. Hopefully, we can get a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. And we can go to the actual supply drop, see if we can collect some more stuff. Hopefully, Lapis, because Lapis, for the supply drops, Lapis 
is basically what you want out of the, out of the supply drops. Um, and the XP bottles. XP bottles and lapis. That's the stuff you do want to have. Uh, is there anybody there? No one is there. Oh, but who's that? Wait a minute. Maybe we can jump him. Maybe we can jump him. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, come on. I'm nowhere to be seen. Dang it! Oh, he'll, he'll probably be told my location then. He probably told my location. No! Oh, my plan was so good until you foiled it. These guys really want to kill me. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's teasing, he's teasing. I don't want to do it. But that button's giving me OCD, though. That button is giving me a lot of OCD. These guys have full enchanted gear. Well, this guy has a flame sword. That, that, that's the one dude has a flame sword, so... I don't like that at all. That, I don't like that one bit. I think we're just gonna have to go back to the iron mines, honestly. To go gain, like, our gear. Because these guys are just, they're gonna hog the PvP mines. We're gonna run through the... Supply drop here. Hopefully we can get some good stuff. All right. A light fragment. I'll take that. Light fragment. Light fragment. It's all good. It's all good. Also, too, if you guys, um, I haven't, I, I can't believe I actually didn't mention this in, like, the start of the video when I was talking about, like, changes and stuff. The, the prison server, of course, some prison servers have this on PC as well. I've introduced a new event, or basically, like, the first event, basically, on the server. More to come. But... And this prison event here, this prison event is a prison riot, as the name, of course, includes. Prison riot is where, for five minutes, when the prison riot actually starts, all safe areas are actually PvP-enabled for five minutes. So basically, if you're in safe zone, for example, if you're, like, in cell block lobby, like, right here, you can, like, attack. But that's during the cell block, or during the, um, during the jailbreak, or the... Uh, or the the prison riot, sorry. When the prison riot is happening, that's what you can do. You can go there and you can you, you can just kill anyone for five minutes. The only safe place would be would be in your cell block. And it appears that Iron Mine is out. No, it is not. Or I think it is. Uh it kind okay, it is. It has to be. Okay, um, it, it kind of is, so I'm going to have to refill after that. We are going to go into the iron, or the coal mine, because I don't, yeah, coal, oh, goodies, I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, we're going to, we're going to, kind of, we're going to stick here and mine for some coal here, and then we'll sell the uh, coal. But as I was saying about the prison riot, for five minutes, when the event actually happens, all safe areas turn into PvP zones. You can kill anyone, even if they're in the shop, for example, even if they're in the mines, for example, like right here, right now, you can actually mine down the door and kill kill them but of course if you're gonna do that be acknowledgeable and place back the door so i don't have to go around fixing the map this doesn't mean break the map this doesn't mean you can break everything this only means pvp enabled lines are basically everywhere for five minutes the only safe place would be in your cell and when the five minutes are up everything would go back to normal I told people that I would be having the prison riot session slash event every time I'd host at least once. At least one prison riot every time I would host. Um, of course, someone someone suggested that to me, and it, it's a really cool idea. It's a really cool idea. It mixes things up, and it makes people so they actually want to buy a cell because some people they don't they don't buy a cell. For me, I had to buy a cell because I'm gonna need the space and. Like, if you're not gonna buy a cell, the only safe place is your ender chest. And also, too, like, if you're gonna play without a cell on my prison server, you're, you're, you're kinda gonna be out of luck because your ender chest is gonna fill up quite a bit when you start, when you start to play the prison, like, a lot. So, that's why it's always recommended to buy a cell. Also, too, with leading into the cell topic, you guys know that renting a cell is $2,000 for the week. I am now going to be introducing the system. I said that I won't be introducing the system till next week, but I decided to introduce it now. I'm, I'm gonna add it in. 
probably tonight when I host the prison again later on when I am done work by the time you guys are seeing this it would be yesterday blah 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 all that type of stuff now my renting a cell is two thousand dollars you guys already know that by but you guys have to renew your cell you have to renew your cell every week every Tuesday should I say every Tuesday you have to renew your cell for it to be for it to be renewed if you don't renew your cell your cell is gonna get blocked up and basically there's gonna be a sign saying for sale and basically whoever buys the cell can basically take all your stuff so you know, it, it, it's 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 something that you do need to do every Tuesday is when I is when I pick up all of the um all of the cell renew tags how this is gonna work I'm gonna have somewhere in this in the actual cell block here um, where you go down and you buy a key and basically you have to rename that key to your cell so you rename like your gamer tag then you put it in a chest will go down into a hopper and then I check the hopper if your name is on the name tag of course you will have your cell renewed and if you don't if you don't renew if you don't rename your tag then I won't be able to count it because I don't know whose it is so that will be a system coming soon and you don't have to renew your cell on Tuesday you can re, re yeah you can renew your cell on any day you can renew your cell every day it just has to be in on Tuesday <laughs> as I was saying though um, but it, it, it is I am gonna be adding in uh, that soon in the future uh, we do have 54 coal we have some void dust light fragments and we got some uh, tokens light fragments all that type of stuff so let's go ahead store our stuff and I think that's gonna be it for the episode for today so we did get some loot we got ourselves a bait we basically got ourselves a full set of iron armor iron sword uh, we got some lapis from that we got some iron we got some realm tokens I'll be introducing the realm token shop um, pro uh, like later I'll, I'll probably I'll, I'll implement it probably later on tonight I'm not too sure probably I will be so I'm gonna sell all of this cobblestone off camera so you guys don't have to be boarded by me selling a bunch of stuff and this coal as well we do have a bunch of iron in here and we can actually keep the coal in there we and we here so we got 20 iron on us and we got our set of armor right here and we got pretty we got some pretty good loot this episode we got some pretty good loot we are getting back up on our feet again we actually do need to get another pickaxe since it broke so let's go ahead and make another one real quick there we go and also to fishing rods i haven't entered i haven't really put in a fishing system yet so i'm the fishing area is probably going to be that door right there uh just for just for people that are of course a part of the prison series and of course if you guys are new join up add me gamer tag down below and the community for the prison is in the description as well join it so you know when the prison's going up because spots fill ridiculously fast ridiculous it is overall that is gonna do it for this episode of prison here episode number two of the prison here today ladies and gentlemen of course i hope you dudes did all enjoy this episode of prison number two i know i'm gonna be doing a bunch of other stuff i'm gonna be building a lot i'm gonna be changing up a bunch of things if you guys have any suggestions or would love to see something in the prison that i have not already added in or you think that would be cool Please, please send it down below in the description or message me on PlayStation. And if you're new around here, subscribe, hit the like button, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. And of course, if you do want to join this prison, gamer tag down below. And if you want to know when the prison is up and running, join the community, join both of my communities. For both of my prison server and for all of my dark nexus servers all of those will be down in the description below overall thank you so much every single one of you for tuning in on to the video here of course this has been the chief or the toasted tater and i will see you dudes in the next one peace out and i'll see you later